It's confusing, especially because this decision came down so late last night that people are waking up to this news and going, what, what happened? So we're going to break it down for you. So the CDC director decided that she was going to overrule her own advisory panel, making a recommendation that the panel didn't want to make. And that could now allow millions more Americans to get a third shot. CDC head Rochelle Walensky deciding late last night to broaden her own advisory panel's recommendations for Pfizer booster shots and include workers at high risk of contracting COVID. So there are 15 who voted yes, zero no's, and the ayes have it. On Thursday, the CDC panel decided that a third Pfizer vaccine is only appropriate for adults 65 and older, nursing home residents, and people 50 to 64 with underlying medical conditions. Individuals 18 to 49 with underlying conditions have the option to get a booster shot if they choose. But the panel was split on whether at risk workers need a third dose and ultimately did not make that recommendation. Nine no's, six yeses. So um, the nays have it and the recommendation is not passed. CDC Director Walensky released a statement explaining why she chose to overturn and make the recommendation anyway. Quote, as CDC Director, it is my job to recognize where our actions can have the greatest impact. At CDC, we are tasked with analyzing complex, often imperfect data to make concrete recommendations that optimize health. In a pandemic, even with uncertainty, we must take actions that we anticipate will do the greatest good. And Walensky's decision lines up with what the FDA also recommended earlier this week. Now, this group of at-risk workers, that includes people who are in institutional settings, living in institutional settings like homeless shelters or prisons, and it also includes health care workers. Reporting live outside of the Pfizer headquarters in Midtown, I'm Katie Corrado, Pix 11 News.